Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get the list of input IDs or the input IDs of the available channels of your Android uh, TV in your Android TV app to so show the complete source code. So let's begin. I'll create a new project. It could be an MTV project, it doesn't matter. And input IDs of Android TV channels. And we will leave place all things as it is, click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while to complete the loading. So it seems like my environment is loaded up now. So first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll connect to my Android TV so that I can uh, use it to demonstrate and uh, uh, yeah, debug. So this is the command ADB connect to the IP address of my TV. It is connected now. Yeah, perfect. I will uh, minimize it for the time being because first let's complete our app part and then we will switch back to the uh, TV screen. So first let me complete the layout part. So for layout what I will do is I will uh, first change it to the TV view of the uh, layout design Yeah, over here and then I will update this particular layout as for the TV screen. So let me bring up the palette and also the component tree. So right now we have only one text view and also the attributes on the right hand side. So I think I'll keep this text view uh, widget to display my output and I'll also put one button. So code is will be very simple. Button will be to show the input ID. So input IDs and I'll give some constraints. Perfect. Okay, I can bring this also up probably on the left hand side like this yeah so i think that's all is what i need in terms of layout i'll quickly create one public method public wide button show input ids uh, yeah view view so this method you can name it anything however we'll associate it with this particular button on click attribute so that whenever this button is clicked that particular method is called so like this this will work i'll go back to the java code and over here i'll do one thing i'll create a class variable for text view in this class variable i'll set id r dot id dot text view the widget name so now my in terms of my layout and the association the java code is done so i can start the coding in the this particular method to get the details about your TV, anything we need some uh, very uh, object called TV Input Manager, and in this TV Input Manager, we'll do something like get System Service, and the service what we'll need is TV underscore Input Service. Yeah, perfect. It may ask us to typecast. Okay, I think I forgot to give the variable name over here. Yeah, now it may ask us to type cast and yeah, do the casting. So now we'll be using this particular variable TV input manager to get the list of the TV input info. So TV input info. So list TV input info list and we can use this our TV input manager to get tv input list perfect so once we have this list then we can create something called string builder string builder to store all the outputs to collect all the outputs new string builder probably string and over here in the string we can first get the size of the uh, particular thing so for that what we can do is probably we can do like this size equal to plus and the size of our string dot value of and no tv input info list dot size perfect so we have got the size now we will one by one iterate over this in the for loop so what we can do for that for tv input info tv input info and we can iterate over this list in this for loop and in the string builder one by one we can append uh, the particular thing so I'll do one thing first I'll go to the next line and TV input info 
perfect and at the end i can use a text view to set my final text set no, no, set text and string builder dot to string perfect so i think that should be sufficient let me run this app in my tv and by the way i'm using the physical tv for running this not a emulator so i have connected to the tv and i then i'm mirroring the screen that's why it's visible over here in the learning device so let the tv app come up under my tv screen so it will take a while depending on your uh, network connections and tv and all so i've connected over the wi-fi okay so this is the initial screen and if i click here we can see all the information being displayed here so size is 9 so there are 9 channels it seems like and all the information of tv input info is displayed right from id okay so this screen is very really small so i can zoom it and it shows the right from id to uh, package and all so however for this one uh, in this code you are just interested to get the id right so i'll do one thing i'll just do a get id however you can use other get also say for example get service info extra point id blah blah so but in this tutorial we'll be focusing only on the id part so that this one will filter out and also i'll do one thing because it will i'll just quickly increase the size of this text view i think it's a bit small so it may be a difficult to view so from 14 i'll increase to say for example 24. now let me rerun the code very quickly and see how it comes up so this time i'm expecting it will just filter out everything and just give the uh, id input id it will just display it and the size was 9 so i think size will not change definitely and it will just display the 9 input so let me click here perfect so this time it looks much better so the size is 9 and then all the 9 uh, input infos are displayed here so one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah this one is all the two lines plus one channel because it just starts from com dot something like that okay and this input id is important which you can use to design your custom apps where you want to access any of these channels for example hdmi uh, channels and all to do your uh, display part so that's all i wanted to show you uh, how easy and straightforward it is to get any information about your tv channels and all using this tv import uh, info uh, variable and that can be accessed through tv import manager i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thank you and have a nice